hi guys welcome and welcome back to native mobile bits my name is sachin and in today's video we will explore the new splash screen api and by the end of this video i will show you how we can implement this new api and create some cool splash screens so as we already know that splash screen is basically the very first screen which is shown to the user whenever they launch the application so in the past we have used many different ways to create a splash screen and few common practices are where uh, we create a activity and we add one splash layout and then we add some delay with the help of timers and then we uh, use intent to go to the next activity maybe our home screen and another one is there we create one launcher theme and we utilize that as our splash screen but there was no fixed practice or no guidelines to use uh, splash screen and uh, we was facing few issues like uh, some white or black window preview at the time of uh, launch or maybe when we was starting our application there was some delay or some kind of these things but now all these things are passed and now in android 12 we have received one brand new splash screen api yes you heard me right we have one specific suggested and recommended way to use splash screen from android 12 onwards we have the new splash screen api and in today's video i am going to show you how we can implement this new api okay so this is the project which we are going to use in today's video this is basically the same project which we used uh, to migrate to android 12 if you miss the migration series i have added the link in the description you can check that out as well and uh, let's move ahead this project is already running on android 12 and uh, this is the splash screen activity this is basically a normal activity which is having one icon and uh, one brand logo as well so let's see how this application is running right now on android 12 emulator if you notice carefully you will see that android green color icon that app launcher icon is shown before our actual splash screen that's because in android 12 devices we need to use this recommended splash screen api if we don't use this recommended method then android os will be keep on showing us these kind of two splash screen one the application icon application launcher icon at the first and then our actual splash screen will be shown so we need to migrate our existing splash screen activities with the help of this new api that's what we are going to do in today's video so let's do that in the next step okay so let me quickly add the dependency and start syncing the project so the syncing is happening and uh, the project is synced successfully so let me go to android manifest file and here we can see that this is the splash screen activity declaration and our splash screen activity right now is using this application theme here we will be declaring one new theme let me just start a new theme and i will just name it as splash screen theme and we are going to extend this theme dot splash screen which is coming from this newly added dependency over here okay so before we add the items inside this style let's check how our splash screen layout is looking so it is having one white background and uh, one application icon and there is one brand name which is our youtube channel name let's add the first one here is the windows splash screen background item i will add the color white here okay yes and the next one is this app icon this is basically android icon here so let me quickly add this next item bless icon this yeah splash animated icon I, I can declare here i see app logo and the next item is this post splash screen theme like once the splash screen is over then our uh, main application theme we can show in uh, next activity so this is the post splash screen theme our application theme and uh, next item let's see so if we see this is the brand image we have the next image so we also have one item for this splash this window splash screen branding image 
and here we can just add our brand logo this is our brand logo okay so it is showing that this is only available in api 31 so we can just extract this style 31 resource file so basically this theme will be available for all the devices and uh, this version 31 style will be available only for android 12 devices here we have declared our branding image as well so this will be shown on android 12 devices and emulators now now we can go to our android manifest file okay so now we don't need this splash screen activity anymore we can delete this activity and its layout now so earlier we was having this much code to create our splash screen and here as you can see i was adding some delay with the help of this handler and then i was launching the intent to the next activity and uh, now we don't need these activities anymore so let me just go ahead and delete this activity and then let me delete the layout as well and now we just need these uh, launcher tag we can delete the remaining okay so now we can make the main activity as our launcher activities so here i will add the launcher intent filters and i will make this as our main activity and as we already know that inside android 12 we need to export our launcher activity as true because our system needs access to it to launch our application okay so now uh, we have made this as our launcher activity here we need to add this theme as well so let me add the theme here in the activity declaration so our theme is this splash screen theme which we have created recently we will be using this and now inside our main activity we need to use this uh, extension method install splash screen this activity install splash screen this is one extension method for activities and it returns a object of splash screen all right so let's try to run our application now and uh, see how it's looking so now it's launching fine and as we can see that we don't have that green color android launcher icon because we are using the recommended android splash screen api now but now we have one question that uh, we don't have any delay in it it's just launching and disappearing very quickly what we can do here is so we can just take the reference for this entire view tree and uh, we can just write main view find view yid view and android dot r dot id dot content so it will give us access to the entire view tree for this application and let me add one view tree observer so that we can just observe the view tree and uh, let me add one add pre-draw listener so that we can just get some callback whenever any new view is about to be added in the view tree hierarchy here i will extend the method as well on pre-draw so basically whenever any new view is about to be added in our view tree hierarchy so we will get one callback here inside own pre-draw we can add some condition here based on our requirement like till how much time we need to show the splash screen so here uh, we can add some condition maybe we can check like in which language user was using our application last and uh, maybe we can fetch some data from some api and uh, for this let me quickly add uh, the dependencies to use view model okay so the project is saying now we can uh, create one splash screen view model just uh, to put some variable and replicate some behavior like in which we can make some api or we can add some delay so let me create some class splash view model and let me just quickly extend with the view model class so this class uh, here we can uh, just make some api or we can just uh, fetch some data or maybe we can add some delay in this class so let me quickly create one variable private well is data loaded we can name this and uh, i will create this variable as mutable live data of boolean type initial value is false i will create one live data as well for the same thing is data loaded of live data boolean and uh, i will refer to the same mutable live data we created all right 
so inside the init block we can use the view model scope and we can use launch extension and then we can add some delay here maybe uh 2.5 second or maybe four seconds and uh, here after the four second delay we can just make this as true like our data is loaded so we are replicating like four seconds delay here okay and now we can just go back to our main activity and here inside our main activity we can just take a reference to this splash screen view model and uh, by view models so i am just using activity extensions i will just quickly import it so inside this own pre-draw method we will add the condition like till how much time we need to observe our splash screen so let's add this if uh, splash view model dot is data loaded dot value is true then uh, we need to stay on the same screen okay so that means until unless the data is getting loaded we need to show the same splash screen and by default this will be false so return false over here so this condition basically is saying that until unless our splash screen data is getting loaded we will be keep on showing splash screen and once the data is loaded this condition is successfully matching then we will remove observer then we will uh, just move forward to the next screen and we will stop and remove this pre-draw listener that that means uh, then we will not listen to the any view change inside our view tree hierarchy now let's try to run our application and let's see how our project is behaving okay so the application is launched and we can see the splash screen and it is staying for a bit longer this time that means our duration is working here so this time let's add uh, a delay of 5 seconds and let's change the background color as well so inside styles i will add uh, let me quickly check some other color over here so let's uh, use this tealish color this time so let me add this color here inside version 31 style as well and uh, now let's try to run our application again okay so the application is launched and it is showing pretty nice color with five second of splash screen visibility this time and uh, this is looking really so nice finally we have successfully implemented this new splash screen api and it is officially recommended from google from android 12 onwards so i highly recommend using it and uh, this is very easy to use and this is very user friendly and uh, and with the help of this we don't need to use those uh, old handlers and timers which was causing few memory leaks here and there and i hope i shared something informative with you today and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video